welcome back everyone so today i'm going to show you some ways in which you can prepare for the next season the season six so it will be a season coming uh, for the spring season so it will be regarding some uh, new location and new city new town so before that you must be ready that uh, along all these seasons we have faced a lot of um, events in which you have to face some kind of enemies in one way or the other so for that you must be having enough of the high and melee weapons and uh, some good guns as well so for that i must say that you must be preparing uh, during this time because this is the time where we are not having any season and uh, it's a good time to spend upon collecting some of the uh, really really important rewards so one of uh, one of the basic and the main i mean not the rewards not i mean the material to make all those weapons and uh, those healing items so i would say that you must be collecting enough of the crust so that you can go home and uh, make uh, uh, using the swing table you can make the grass into a cloth piece and with that cloth piece you can make some bandages and uh, with those bandages you can <coughs> go in all those events where you have to be fighting some kind of enemies for rewards and uh, uh, obviously you must be knowing that a bandage is a really really important resource to to heal and to support your all over gameplay during these events so the secondary thing will be the raw material uh, obviously the grass was the raw material grass will always give you some seeds those seeds can be planted back into your farm on the base you can farm some carrots you can grow some carrots and uh, you can cook uh, some carrot stew with them and uh, that also will be uh, something that you can use to heal yourself into the battlefield so like you can see i picked up a, a plant fiber i also found one seed with that uh, one more thing and uh, one of our main and important resources is going to be the iron resource so this is the iron resource with this resource you can put this resource into the furnace and uh, you can have iron bars and with the help of iron bars you can <coughs> you can create you can craft some of the basic melee weapons like cle cleaver and uh, crowbar up to some important and uh, tough melee weapons like skull crusher and machete so they are going to be lethal for those enemies and you need iron bars for them and for iron bar you need this iron ore to smelt those iron bars into i mean to smelt those iron ore into a uh, iron bar so this is going to be some second resource and uh, <coughs> to smelt the iron ore into iron bar you must be needing some wood I must suggest that with the wood you must be making wood plank and by burning those wood plank with wood, wood planks only you will be getting charcoal. So charcoal will be helping you to spell the iron ore much easier uh, because the, with to make uh, I mean to make 5 iron bars you need 20 wood but to make 10 iron bars you just need maybe five charcoal pieces only so that's a great option to save your time and uh, resources as well and uh, i must say that you must be looting each and every places you're visiting so that you must be having enough of the craft crafting tools like like you can see called skull crochet you must be needing duct tape and you must be hunting as well because hunting will give you leather to make machete and the skull crusher so hunting is also important in a uh, point of view of survival in the coming season 6 because obviously to give rewards in the case of an exchange of any event you must be fighting some of some kind of the enemies where you will be needing a lot of weapons and uh, I must say that for machete uh, uh, I mean for melee weapons you must be 
get the, the resources from now only because season six is going to be near and uh, we are going to save the season as soon as possible within a week or maybe just a couple of weeks you must be also uh, uh, as i have said that you must be loading these crates as well because these crates will give you some of the main crafting tools like uh, i mean raw materials like this adhesive uh, rubber parts and all the adhesives are going to be used for the armor the body armor and uh, you must be hunting deer and uh, grey wolves as well as other animals because they are going to provide you with leather which is going to be uh, important <coughs> key item for for the armor as well as the basic two main melee weapons so let's go back to the base and I will now I will tell you how you can get guns through the game pretty easily and pretty well and more efficiently because in the coming season you must be using guns as well as the hard melee weapons because both of the things are going to play their different roles in different zones like if you are if you have already played season 5 then there were three enemy bosses Feral Jesse and uh, Lucy Luck and uh, Gnarly Billy so for Gnarly Billy and Lucy Luck melee weapons were enough to fight them but for Feral Jesse at higher stages you must be uh, you would have been using some of the guns like uh, Glocks only Glocks were, uh, Glocks were enough to use uh, at that time so with, but the higher level of Nali, I mean Feral Jesse will be something where you must be I mean you must have been used the Glock gun because we, to kill that guy was a pretty uh, hard fight so now I will be showing you the way you will, in which you can <coughs> get your guns pretty easily through the game and uh, uh, some other stuff you will be requiring, requiring in season 6 okay before that I must be telling you that you must be using your wood to make some planks and then you must be burning those planks with some planks and the time you fetch some of the coal then you must be burning the coal with the I mean you must be burning the plank with the coal only because this way you will be getting enough of the higher number of coal Right. Yeah. So with this coal, with just ten coal, you can smell twenty iron ore, and uh, you will be getting ten of the iron bar. And this is a good option of using your wood because using the wood directly into smelting will make you spend more of the wood than you have gained. So I must suggest that make the convert the wood into the coal and then you can use that coal in making preparing food or maybe smelting iron or other kind of uh, metal. And uh, you must be collecting a lot of plant fibers because they will be giving you seeds as well as armor and uh, bandages. So you can use your plant fiber to craft these cloth pieces and by these cloth pieces can be crafted into bandage, bandages which will be required into completing all those events which are going to be there in season 6 of the game and the, like I said you must be hunting pretty well because hun after hunting you must be tanning your leather and the leather will be giving you I mean the, fi <coughs> the finalized leather and with the help of leather you can craft some of your own armor you must be having blue adhesive also and uh, armor as well as some basic two high end melee weapons it will be requiring leather as well so let's head towards the towards a pretty paradise place for the guns and uh, that place is going to be our own Tanka Alpha so to find the code for the bunker alpha it is going to be a radio where you will be finding the code for the day for the couple of days for a bunker alpha so it is 38104 for today and uh, 
let's play some raw meat here and we'll okay yeah, I'm, also, uh, I'm also making some space in my inventory so before I'm going to bunker also and uh, I think that's enough for now and uh, I'm also picking up some of the tickets um, if I'm having yeah. this one and the finger of that soldier I will show you how you can use that finger and you must be taking your extra blueprints which are not going to be used for another time and uh, let's go to our bunker first 48103 let me confirm the code because I don't want to come back to okay 38104 And uh, there's going to be one more event in which you can go to the rest stop and rest, rest stop is going to be another thing which will be helping you too. So there's one more place you c where from where you can get enough of the weapons and uh, there will be like 3 to 4 guns and it will be a rest stop. And uh, I must show you that if you're new to the game then that stop is going to be pretty hard to fight off by the way and uh, but it's really easy if you're prepared enough to fight those guys so for the rest stop you must be picking up a single broken clock uh, at least it must be having around 40% uh, of the durability and uh, you just have to be having a uh, medium armor medium armor I mean the armor better than the one I'm wearing right now so I will change my armor and it was it can be a medium one only but this tactical armor is high and uh, I don't need that but uh, actually I'm not having enough of the other armor so I will be wearing this only and uh, put your melee weapons out of your back pockets and uh, or maybe I can take it. Okay, so let's take it. And uh, <coughs> you must be taking at least 10 bandages with you. Put that bandage into the other into your other pocket and uh, pick up a broken clock. So I must be taking a very very broken clock uh, and uh, I cannot see. Wait, I'm thirsty. Mm. it must be here somewhere here yeah so this clock is going to be enough to fight those guys and uh, no 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 not this clock I think it's too less I really don't want to waste any weapon so uh, I'm making this guide for those people who are up to saving them with their weapons so I will be showing you that only I will be say, uh, showing you in a way that is too scarce and too I mean focused on saving all these weapons so please don't mind if you think that I'm saving too much <coughs> okay I really can't figure out what should I be picking up so let's take this one only okay so we'll be figuring out if we would have been taken more or less. So uh, for, uh, first of all you must be keeping it in mind that the rest stop is going to be there for just 7 minutes. So you must be picking up all the stuff you need you require. And uh, because after, after 7 minutes 
it's going to be disappearing and uh, you must be figuring out that your bike is having enough of the fuel to reach the rest stop because uh, a lot of times there are circumstances where you have been out of your fuel it happened with me and uh, by the time I, uh, has, uh, I made it to my base and uh, fulfilled with the fuel uh, that was the time when <coughs> I missed the rest stop because going back to the base and uh, refueling your bike will take around one and a half minute and it is going to be a pretty big time so you must be prepared with your bike also So there are three types of rest stops in which two of them are the same. This, this is a guy which is going to be asking you with help but there is going to be two circumstances. In the first circumstances there is going to be a real hunt where you have to help these three guys fight away the zombies and they will be handing you with a bag of loot. That loot is not going to be that big so you must be killing all these three guys and you must be killing those anim uh, zombies or maybe you just lure them up to this place and go back to those by their choppers and loot that choppers also because their choppers will be carrying a lot of good stuff like fuel uh, full durability m16 as well as maybe ak and the clocks and the armors as well and there's going to be a second <coughs> second scenario in which this guy is going to bait you with uh, I mean uh, by asking you for help and uh, he will take you to other two guys and they will they all all three of these guys will be killing you uh, that situation is going to be hard so you must not helping them and this is a good chance that developers are saying that you have a chance to loot more than you can imagine and uh, there's going to be a third scenario in which they are going uh, there is going to be two guys uh, which would have, who have been gun pointing a single survivor so you must be killing all those three and leaving that place again so it depends and i mean the third scenario is really rare but these two first scenarios are going to be pretty common so i i prefer that you must kill this guy here only and wait for for the other two guys and Side by side, you must be dealing with the bandages as well because bandage is going to be a pretty faster solution to heal uh, other than carrot stew or something else like canned, canned food or something else. Okay, this is a bad shirt, and I mean, that's not a good armor. So, <clears throat> take all the stuff that is going to be important for the next season and uh, obviously this thick fabric and some armor and uh, the bandages is going to be a really really important thing and uh, take your bike take your bike to that place only so i don't know it, if it's the first scenario or the second so if it's the first scenario then you must have been helping them with the zombies and they were the real guys so you can see they were not baiting me but still it's impossible to figure out that if it's going to be the first scenario or second so in this scenario you must be reaching the top left and the corner of the map you, you must be leaving these zombies up to this place and after they reach you after they are close enough to you you must be circling around the map and you will be going to their choppers and looting them and sit up on your chopper and go back so I will wait for them to reach up to me, I guess, and uh, I will go back and uh, you must be quick enough to uh, do all this within a single go and uh, if you fail to do that then you must be trying uh, for the second time, it doesn't matter, you must be, uh, you must be making a second attempt as well, it's just fine, it's not bad so i will be leaving this chopper so the chopper is going to be having a single gun with full durability yeah you can see it's 
a pretty less but not that bad it will be having some fuel as well so like you can see i'm having my games a bit choppy i don't know why so i mean it's a chance to do it in a single go so i will just glue them up to this corner and uh, you must be filling up your pockets with some extra item so that you can have enough of the space in your bag and uh, now i will be looting the chopper with you so take your uh, and uh, i must suggest that always carry some empty bottles into your cho own chopper because that will help you with the fuel so they hit me okay my armor is nearly broken so i must be deleting the bad armor and i must be deleting this can i really apologize that my game is too choppy today okay so at last i'm going to load this bag as well So only take the items we really need because taking all the items which you really don't need will just make your bag too much out of space and uh, I think that's enough. So let's leave the place and I'll be on the chopper back to the map. So this is the good way in which you can have some guns with you. You can loot some guns like this and uh, like you can see I just I just managed to get a single gun out of this place but you can if you're lucky then I mean the most of the times you're going to get three guns at least two of them will be broken maybe one of them will be broken and two of them will be of total health total durability so I have just got uh, one M16 and one machete with some of the basic resources to fetch out uh, some important things so I think that's a good option uh, nothing bad I, I just need to maybe six bandages and that's a good deal if you're going to fight there and you can see that my clock was around 50 maybe 40 percent and it's it just took around 10% of the durability to kill all those three guys and uh, that's a good option to save your time and your resources as well and uh, the last thing where you can get your guns out of this place is going to be the bunker alpha and uh, you must be knowing uh, if, you're an, if you're a new player and if you don't know then I must tell you that bunker alpha is going to be resetting after every two days so there is going to be a good opportunity that there's, there are two days in which you can fetch enough of the green, orange and the red coupons which will be helping you to open the green crate, I mean the combat survival crates and the legendary crates out of your coupons. and. Uh, one of the main event in the game is going to be the convoy so convoy is going to be a really really important event which is going to be appearing after every two to three days in the game so you must be visiting the convoy event and uh, up at the top corner of the convoy region you're going to find a dead soldier you must be clearing out your way of the zombies through that place and the dead soldier is going to give you a finger that finger is going to be used to go through the bi uh, biometric in the bunker alpha. There is a secret room in the bunker alpha, and uh, I must be showing you. You must also take in this blueprint. I will I will be telling you that why you are going to take this blueprint back with you to go to bunker alpha. Uh, wait. <coughs> mm. Let's put this thing back and let's go.
So I'm already having a finger here. Okay, it doesn't matter. So I will be taking my green coupons, and uh, I'm out of orange coupons, but I'm having red coupons more than enough. So I will be killing three of the three giants, and uh, maybe I'll fetch some of the red coupons from them, and I'll show you how you can use that thing for your greater good. So these power spiders are just going to draw green coupons. Okay, so that that was lucky that I got an orange coupon. That's super rare with the power spiders. We are going to get enough of the orange coupons with the soda bloaters and the toxic abominations. Sometimes with the sunrise giants as well because uh, sunrise giants are going to be dropping a lot of red coupons, but sometimes they drop orange as well. Okay, so I will be opening my green crate, I mean the green coupon crate. So this is going to be the rationing crate, and uh, this one is going to be the survival crate, this one is going to be the combat kit crate. So this will be giving me just a single clock and one melee weapon with some of the armor. Mm. <coughs> Uh, with some food and some basic liabilities and uh, why I told you to pick your extra blueprints with you which are which I mean which you already have and you cannot use them again it's the reason because there is going to be a specialist weapon specialist into this room and uh, you must be exchanging all these improvements with them okay now this way this table and uh, after this bar is going to be 100 percent you will be getting a new blueprint maybe it's going to be for a uh, better good and uh, a lot of times he's going to be give you the same i mean a same blueprint you you already have so it will be no worth and uh, this is the secret room where you can use that finger so this is the finger you can use and uh, you can open this gate with the finger and this chest is going to be carrying a lot of lot of rare items so let me show you so this chest is going to be carrying the super rare item of this game and it is the copper bar so with the help of copper bar you can uh, simply smelt a, uh, a steel bar and uh, if you're lucky enough then it's going to be this aluminum plate is going to be a steel plate as well uh, with a single block and some food so this is a good way where you can get your copper because steel is going to be a uh, important thing in this game when you're going to upgrade your chest up to level 3 okay so i will be going to some uh, second or uh, maybe third floor to fetch some of the red coupons and I will be opening up the red coupon crate and I will show you that how well it is going to be when you are going to have your red coupon crate and because uh, we must not be forgetting that <coughs> we must be enough prepared to face uh, level I mean the season 6 and season 6 is going to be requiring a lot of weapons it doesn't matter if they are melee weapons or the guns season 6 is going to be a good option
so we are in the level 3 of Bunker Alpha and uh, uh, why I came to this floor because this is the floor which are going to be having enough of the Penta Gems right in the beginning of its uh, entry and uh, I have already made a more video where you can see that how well you can play uh, level 2 of Bunker Alpha so guys <coughs> I finally managed to uh, get three coupons for red and uh, now we can go back to the um, first floor of the bunker alpha and uh, now we can open the red coupon crate <coughs> and uh, i won't be able to open the orange coupon crate for a while because i uh, i am in need for around 20 more coupons to open that crate and uh, for that it will be a lot of time but I will be opening the right coupon and we will be getting and uh, getting the idea that how much things you are going to get through this. So I have also made a video regarding clearing the floors 2 of Bunker Alpha and the, in the very possible cheapest way and the most easiest way possible. So you can go through the link of the video in the description as well in the cards and the end screen as well and in that video i have shown some other ways as well like the best way to do the wall trick and some cheaper way to save your weapons and clearing the bunker alpha floor too uh, pretty easily so now we are having our 30 coupon or that coupon crate and uh, we will be opening that crate now So if you are new to this game then I must tell you that in the green coupon crate you will be getting just a single block and uh, one melee weapon and uh, a single set of armor which is going to be the basic armor only and uh, in the orange coupon crate you will be getting uh, uh, two guns one of them can be a clock and the other can be a uh, air assault rifle only and uh, if you're lucky then you will be getting two assault rifles it always depends upon the I mean, luck and uh, maybe some kind of algorithm the developers have set with the game and uh, you will be getting one armor uh, one tactical armor the whole armor and some more other stuff and the red coupon crate will be giving us four guns and if you're lucky enough like i am now i am right now and you will be getting four of the assault rifles through the red crate and uh, a chopper part a wheel a tank or something like that only and two armors one of them can be a uh, SWAT armor and the other can and other will be the tactical armor only but this time i have found two set of tactical armors so this is the way in which uh, I mean, I would say that this is the easiest possible way through which you can have a lot of guns. You can find a lot of guns in Bunker Alpha and uh, you can visit the rest stop in which you can kill those survivors and loot their chopper for the guns. And uh, this is the best possible way you can fetch a lot of guns before the beginning of Season 6. Because like I told in, told you in the beginning that season 6 is going to be a season which will be having enough of the events which will require a lot of melee weapons as well as guns. So these are the best 3 possible ways in which you can get your guns through the bunker alpha and I, w I would say that clearing the bunker alpha is the best possible way and uh, if you find the rest stop and uh, just go to that rest stop and kill those survivors to fetch their guns and the third way is uh, you can make a deal with the dealer there is also another way that you, that you can make deal with um, deal with the uh, raiders but for that you have to fulfill in their task and uh, that will take quite a time and then they will be uh, coming up with to you with some uh, base and then you can go to that base and raid that base so it all depends upon your choices but I would say that clearing uh, the bunker alpha every two days will be enough to fetch a lot of guns guns that you will be needing 
for all those tough in these relationships and i would say that this is the possible best way in which you can craft a lot of weapons and uh, i think that's enough for now so thanks for watching hit the like button if you like the video and found it useful and uh, do consider subscribing because i'm coming up with a lot of great and uh, interesting stuff so thank you